there weren't many people in NBA circles that thought Miami Heat would be where they are currently. Jimmy Butler was ridiculed by analysts and on social media when he said winning was the main reason he chose Miami as his free agent destination last summer. Now he and his teammates are the ones laughing. The Heat star has led his new team to a 10-1 mark so far in the 2020 NBA playoffs. They swept the Indiana Pacers with relative ease in round one. Then they shocked everyone by dismantling the top-seeded Milwaukee Bucks in round two. Now, Miami is up 2-0 over a talented Boston Celtics squad with an NBA Finals berth on the line. Sometimes a player and an organization just seem to fit together perfectly. That is the case with Butler and the Heat. His mentality is a match for the culture that coach Eric Spolstra has created. Accountability and discipline are the foundations of what Miami wants from their team. Finally, Jimmy Butler feels at home. The Heat star has a reputation for being outspoken, brash, and aggressive. This has created issues with teammates and management at other stops during his career, but Butler is now in the perfect place to be himself on and off the court in Miami. Now he is focused on leading this franchise back to the NBA Finals, and he is just two wins away. Butler spoke on JJ Reddick's podcast earlier in the season about how much he loved the culture in Miami. His brashness may have been an issue with his previous teams, but now it is welcomed and encouraged as part of Spolster's system of accountability. Butler has found a place and teammates that take on his criticisms as motivation instead of personal attacks. He also talked about how he is not immune to being called out. Everyone is held to the same standard in Miami. Butler spoke of how fellow all-star Bam Adebayo has yelled at him multiple times during games to step his game up and be the leader of this team. This roster is built with players all willing to be held accountable and sacrifice individual comforts for the team's success. Butler has taken the lead in these playoffs. Miami hasn't trailed in any of their three series so far. The Heat star has been a major reason why as he has played his best in game ones. He scored 28 to open the first round sweep of the Pacers before dropping 40 points in a stunning performance over the Bucks. His scoring was not as bountiful in game one of the conference finals, but he hit the big shots when his team needed them. Butler hit a three late in regulation to give his team the lead, then had a game-winning three-point play in the final seconds of overtime. After his second clutch go-ahead bucket of the night, Adebayo sealed the game with one of the most impressive blocks in playoff history. The other aspects of the Heat culture that fit perfectly are defense and team play. Each of those traits was on display as they closed out Game 2 against the Celtics. Adebayo, Duncan Robinson, and Goran Dragic led the way offensively in the win. The trio combined for 64 points. Butler had a modest night offensively, but made three huge defensive plays late in the fourth quarter. He had a steal that led to a fast break assist with just over a minute to go, the ball but sealed the victory. The Heat star then deflected a lob attempt on the Celtics' last offensive possession. As part of the culture coach Spolstra has created, the offensive stars could change from game to game. However, everyone is expected to be at their best on defense. Butler fits perfectly with everything the Miami Heat franchise is about, and he is on a mission to lead them to the NBA Finals.